Quick thought I had today. When will Pokemon backwards compatibility end? If you don't know what I'm talking about, right now as of early 2021, you are able to transfer Pokemon you've caught in the Game Boy Advance games all the way up to Sword and Shield, assuming they're in Galar's Pokedex. This goes for all generations of Pokemon between Generation 3 and now, and it's a pretty lengthy and complex process to transfer your Pokemon up. And something I've never thought of until now is, when will this functionality end? It's pretty staggering that you can still have Pokemon that helped you on your journey in 2003 continue to join you on your adventure 18 years later. 18 years! These Pokemon are adults now. It's really crazy to think how long some of us have held on to these ones and zeros. Even today, you can still make new Pocket Monster friends on your Game Boy and then transfer them up to the new game whenever you want. But I fear the end of this functionality is near. Or rather, a rework is in order. Let me explain. When it comes to transferring Pokemon to the 6th generation, you need a few things. A DS, a 3DS, a Gen 5 game to transfer Pokemon from, and believe it or not, you do not need a Gen 6 game to transfer your old Pokemon to the 3DS. What you do need, however, is a paid subscription to Pokemon Bank. Pokemon Bank is a 3DS application you can use to store your Pokemon in the cloud. You're able to put them into Generation 6 or 7 games, or even transfer them up to Gen 8 on the Switch. I mean, why would I want to purchase a service on the 3DS, which turns... My god, 10 years old as of this month? That's disgusting! Why would I want to purchase a $5 yearly subscription to a service I'm going to use a handful of times and never use again? On a 10 year old console! Which is what inspired me to make this video. This functionality is really cool, and I would hate to see it go, but the 3DS just recently got discontinued. It's only a matter of time until its online functionality gets shut off, just like the DS did in recent years. And when that happens, what happens to Pokemon Bank? It's an online service, and the 3DS's online functionality gets shut down. What's gonna happen? I have a few theories as to what could happen, as well as a prediction as to what I think the Pokemon Company is going to do in this situation. Number one is to shut down the Pokemon Bank, along with the 3DS online services. This will cut all ties with the old games, and just like how you can't transfer Generation 1 or 2 Pokemon to Gen 3, now you won't be able to bring up any previous Pokemon before the Nintendo Switch. This is obviously the worst of the three routes, and as much as I think they've been making drastic changes to the formula as of recently, I don't think they're going to cut ties with previous generations cold like that. In fact, I could even see them going so far as to trying what I thought of for number two, continue to support exclusively the Pokemon Bank even when the 3DS goes offline. I'm unsure how this would even work. I'm guessing it really relies on whether the Pokemon Company can get another server host for the bank or not. The technicalities of this seem beyond my understanding, so I'm not even going to try to comprehend it and talk about it in this video, but I think it would be an interesting concept if they tried it, as nothing like this has really been done before. However, what I think they're going to do may not appease every fan, but I think will be a compromise. I think they're going to shut down the Pokemon Bank, along with the 3DS Online functionality. But not for a while. In fact, I think in the time between then and now, we're going to be finding new ways to experience these games so when the time comes to flip that switch, we'll be ready. I truly believe TCP is going to try to port, remake, or remaster old titles to the switch and possibly future consoles depending on how long it takes. So far, we can already play through Kanto and Galar on the switch, and Game Freak has mentioned wanting to continue the Let's Go series, so we should expect to see a Let's Go Johto in the works. Possibly even revealed this month, it is Pokemon's 25th anniversary after all. And we're already expecting Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes as well, so that's just another region to cross off the list. I'm unsure what to expect when it comes to Gen 5 and up, so who knows what they're going to do there. But my big prediction is that with the reveal of Diamond and Pearl remakes this month, we are going to see ports of Ruby, Sapphire, and or Emerald on the Nintendo Switch. We've seen Gen 1 and Gen 2 ports on the 3DS, and I believe in the future we're going to have a new way to play through Johto on the Switch, but I don't see them remaking Hoenn for the Switch right after doing it with Aorus just a few years ago, so I think a port will be the most likely option. Anyways, that's my quick thought. Tell me what you think. Here's my stuff.